Government exists to protect us from each other. Where government has gone beyond its limits is in deciding to protect us from ourselves. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. If we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. I have left orders to be awakened at any time during national emergency, even if I'm in a cabinet meeting. Sometimes when I'm faced with an atheist, I am tempted to invite him to the greatest gourmet dinner that one could ever serve, and when we have finished eating that magnificent dinner, to ask him if he believes there's a cook. We don't have a trillion dollar debt because we haven't taxed enough. We have a trillion dollar debt because we spend too much. We must reject the idea that every time a law is broken, society is guilty rather than the lawbreaker. It is time to restore the American precept that each individual is accountable for his actions. I know in my heart that man is good that what is right will always eventually triumph, and there is purpose and worth to each and every life. I hope we once again have reminded people that man is not free unless government is limited. There's a clear cause and effect here that is as neat and predictable as a law of physics as government expands liberty contracts. Politics is not a bad profession. If you succeed, there are many rewards. If you disgrace yourself, you can always write a book. Some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference in the world. But the Marines don't have that problem. Recession is when your neighbor loses his job. Depression is when you lose yours. And recovery is when Jimmy Carter loses his. We will always remember. We will always be proud. We will always be prepared. So we will always be free. It has been said that politics is the second oldest profession. I have learned that it bears a striking resemblance to the first. Socialists ignore the side of man that is the spirit. They can provide you shelter, fill your belly with bacon and beans, treat you when you're ill, all the things guaranteed to a prisoner or a slave. They don't understand that we also dream. Our natural, inalienable rights are now considered to be a dispensation from government, and freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. To sit back hoping that someday, some way, someone will make things right is to go on feeding the crocodile, hoping he will eat you last, but eat you he will. Above all, we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. No government ever voluntarily reduces itself in size. Government programs, once launched, never disappear. Actually, a government bureau is the nearest thing to eternal life we'll ever see on this earth. If we lose freedom here, there is no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. 